Hey, what is up, guys? It is Jazz Muffins with God of Gaming here, and we're doing this Rainbow Runner for you guys. But anyways, you guys should probably subscribe, like up this video, comment, and all that stuff. Uh, sorry about the dogs throughout this video. Our, my family does like to have annual dog fights on the ninth day of Christmas. Just kidding. Anyways, we're going to hand this over to MC Prone, and he will be doing the tutorial for this. But please subscribe and comment on this video. Also, like it if you guys like this video, and here we go. How's it going, guys? It's MC Prone with Gotta Gaming. We're gonna do a tutorial on how to build a rainbow runner. All right. So first off, you go about seven blocks high. Then you do a eight little long thing. This is gonna be a little platform which we're gonna be building on. All right. Oh, I went nine blocks, but I'm gonna take it out at the end. So just go eight if you will. You go down two blocks and you make this little. 3 by 8 platform. Then we go down in the very middle, and then we do the same. Go down 2 blocks, and that's it. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Found I did 1 too long, and then I took it out. Alright. Alright, now all we really have to do here is just put redstone torches on all these little iron blocks that we set earlier. And some, or two, at, at the end, two will be off, two lines will be off, and then three will be on. Okay. And now we're going to be doing some super pistons. Kind of failed a little bit here, but it's not too bad. And the sticky pistons are all set. Now you um choose five colored wolves that you want. I said red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Doesn't really matter. It's up to you guys which ones, but I just kept it all color coded. I did the redstone color coded with the colored wolves too, so Yep. Alright guys, so I got some gold box which is going to be for making the platform on which we're going to be putting a bunch of repeaters down, which will be delaying the pistons, which will be shooting up the wool. You guys are going to want to watch closely. We do this to every, or we do this to five of these, so, yeah. So, you delay all these, and once you get to this last four, you just put them all away, and set one which isn't delayed delay once twice and full delay again alright now you're going to set the redstone right there and make it make sure it attaches to every single one of the alright as I said before this second row is just going to be exactly like the bottom row you just keep the same idea concepts and all that and all the repeaters are going to be delayed the exact same too so just do what you did at the bottom, move it up one, just like build the platform with these gold boxes again and all that. And yep. Now we got that done, we're going to be moving to the other side. Alright, so do not do the bottom one. I repeat, don't 
do it. Alright, so we're going to be doing the middle one and the top one. So you keep all the repeaters the same, obviously. But what you want to do is you want to keep the repeaters like where the delay would be starting at the same side. Okay, here's a little overview on the progress we've gotten so far. Notice that the single redstone repeater is the same on that side, and they're both symmetric. Alright, so this blue one, you see that it's sticking up, or the pistons are sticking up. So what you want to do is put an iron box there, and then put a torch there, which is called a knot gate. And I would then put the pistons, or whatever, all the repeaters, to make the pistons go down. Run that wool all the way down to the ground. Right. Notice that the green one's down, so we don't need a knot gate. Bring this down. And for the middle one, yellow. That's up. What do we need? We need a knot gate. Iron block. And the torch. There you go. Now the only one sticking up is red, which we will do in a little bit. What's up? One, two, three. Bring this down. Iron box. Torch. See that's down now. All right, now the orange. We don't need a knot gate, so just run this wool down, and that's it. Now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get out some redstone. This is just gonna be placed on the wool, going all the way down. Okay, that's about it. Oh, you can put some redstone repeaters here. They're not really required unless you it doesn't make it all the way. Now this is gonna be the on and off switch. You just fill it up to and then put a six piston. Make sure these are going horizontal. You don't want them going vertical. Put the redstone dust on top. Put any kind of block with the stick piston and then I'll show you what it does alright it pushes out it does not break the redstone wire so if it breaks your redstone you are either too low or you must like hit a wall or something alright now this is going to be a platform which we're going to be putting some rails on the rails are to make oh well, I'm really lucky the rails are to make the random like Pistons push up like the rainbow colors or whatever. Cool. I'll be randomizing it. Just build a platform. 
and it does not have to be off ground. Off ground just makes it so where no animals would go inside like my minecart. It's pretty annoying when that happens. It usually stops the minecart. You could just put it on ground and then put walls up, put it underground. Underground is probably the best. About done with this. Fill in my mistakes. Spin this a little bit more. Alright, so we're coming down to the end of this video. This is the first part of making the Rainbow Runner. We're going to have the second part, which is clicked down there. You've seen this the whole video. And yeah, basically, the second video is just going to be setting the rails, which will. I already said which would be for the randomized rules, which would be dodging, and it would be for the on and off switch, which is not really difficult, but it's probably something new you guys don't know.